make sure I keep those suppressed in my life so they are not magnified in my life, the destructions of the characters of Christ. Amen. 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 So he says in the verse, ye which are overtaken in a fall. He said, okay, I don't want to be overtaken in a fall. Then he says, ye which are spiritual. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good sign of this verse. The tragedy of it, there's people that are really overcome by a fall. And the blessings of it is there are some people who are spiritual enough to lead somebody back from their faults. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know what you think, but that ought to be you. Yeah. <laughs> that ought to be me. That ought to be him. That's right. I mean, seriously, you ought to be able, if you're a young person in this place, you ought to be able to take another young person your age and lead them in a spiritual relationship with Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. Amen. Now, if you can't, you ought to get there. Right. So that is really the message tonight. It isn't the fact that we're overcome by the fall. It is to be spiritual enough to lead somebody away from those falls. Amen. Amen. Right. To bring somebody back to Christ. To help them to get back in the spiritual condition so they can do the same thing you're doing. You know what I mean? Amen. 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 Now that makes a lot of sense. Right. But did you know the Bible does have a lot of say about us being spiritual? It really does. I know that's hard to believe. I mean, going to church and that well, I must be a pretty spiritual person because I go to church. Yeah. Well, we know that isn't true, don't we? <laughs> I preached in my church one time and said, let me tell you what isn't the answer. So going to church isn't the answer. Do right. you know praying's not the answer? So you mean if I pray, that's not the answer being spiritual? No, it's not. <coughs> you know, I heard a lot, I've heard a lot of people say, well, we pray every night in our, church, in our house and a few weeks later they're divorced or yeah. a month later or two they're divorced. Yeah. Well, what happened? Prayer didn't work. I mean, read my Bible. Well, that's my answer. Read my Bible every day. Let me tell you something. I've got a lot of people who read their Bible. And it ain't working. Yeah. I mean, that's sad. Yeah. It should work. But for some reason, it's not. So obviously, then, just performing or practicing spiritual things isn't going to make you spiritual. Right. I mean, something's got to be done to, to uh, catapult you to a higher level to yeah. get you where you're supposed to be in your spiritual life. That's right. In the book of 1 Corinthians, Paul the Apostle deals with the Corinthian church. He said, you are carnal yeah. and you walk as men. Mm -hmm. He said, you're supposed to be spiritual, but I fed you with milk and not with meat because you could not bear it. Amen. Churches are full of baby Christians That's right. who have been there for years after year after year after year who have never the mark of spirituality. That's it. Uh -huh. Now, buddy, that's the truth. I don't care who can, you can take it any way you want to. That is the gospel truth because I pass the law. Amen. Now, I'm telling you, and it's that way all across this country. Mm -hmm. Your bullseye will be to be spiritual. That will be a mark for your life. Mm -hmm. I want to be a spiritually minded individual. Amen. Yeah. I don't want to just walk through all the motions. Amen. I want it to be here. That's right. That's right. And I want it to be here. That's right. I don't want to just play the part. I want it to be real in my life. Amen. So he says within the, within the content of the verse, he says, if you are overtaken the fault, or those that are overtaken the fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, consider myself as the also be tempted. So obviously, there is a there is a need for people to be spiritually minded. We've got to reach that. We have got to get ourselves to that point and then being able to aid others to come uh, or aid them to become spiritual. Now I'm going to read to you a few verses that I think are very fitting for us. I've already quoted one of them out of 1 Corinthians chapter 3. But listen to these others. The Bible said that if any man think himself to be a prophet. Now he said if any man think himself to be a prophet. He goes on to say this. Let him acknowledge that the things that are right of you are the commandments of the Lord. Well that's not all he said in that verse. I left something out. He said, "Which those who think they are a prophet, let him acknowledge this." But he goes on in the process of that verse that if any man think himself to be spiritual, a prophet or spiritual, so separate the two. If a man thinks him a prophet, and acknowledge this. If a man thinks himself to be spiritual, let him acknowledge this. So then, a prophet and spiritual. It's prophets it, to be a prophet and spiritual or spiritual. So let him acknowledge. So obviously, he says, if you are spiritual, then you have something to acknowledge. You have something to manifest. You have something to, uh, to show for that spirituality. 
But we're living in a generation that's claiming it, but that doesn't happen. You can see it on television every day. You look at it on the radio every afternoon. I mean, everywhere you're turning, people are trying to walk the walk. Yeah. yeah. Oh, pardon me, let me put it this way. They're trying to talk the talk, but they're not walking the walk. Yeah. We have got a horrible problem in America with spirituality. The Bible says in the book of Galatians, this I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Well, overtaking the fault, that would be the flesh. Uh, to be spiritual, it won't be walking in the spirit. So I have got to walk in the spirit of God. I have got to permit myself and the Spirit of God to walk together. Paul said, I bring my body under subjection. I keep it in submission. I make certain that I myself are in control so I can walk in the Spirit and serve God like I'm, walk I'm supposed to. Galatians 5, verse number 25. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Now, the Bible says in our text, ye which are spiritual. That is our text. That is what we're going to deal with for the next hour. We have a good so we'll hurry. How's that sound? Matter of fact, he invited everybody to come and be with us if y'all like to go. <laughs> Amen. Uh -huh. you hungry. If you're not hungry, then don't go. My goodness. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now, those which are spiritual means this. It means we're under control of the Spirit of God. Under control. Under control. Now tell me, do you think things are out of control? Do you think things are out of control? Absolutely. Things aren't under control. Things are out of control. Right. It's not hard to see on the news. It's not hard to hear down at the local grocery stores. Everybody's complaining because everything's out of control. You can start with government. You can start with education. You can start with uh, churches. Everything is out of control. America is out of control. There's little things that are under control in this country. God help us to be spiritual. No, so he says, those which are spiritual. He brings it down to a personal level and says, those which are spiritual. Now, I can't determine that about you. That's right. That's you got to determine. That's right. You can pull the wool over my eyes. You can walk around singing the song, talk the talk. You can do everything you want to do and convince me that you are. Yeah. You can convince me. You won't say, that's just not possible. I beg your pardon. The devil appears as an angel of light. I mean, he's got the wool pulled over a bunch of us, doesn't he? That's he's right. got us all food. That's right. So in this, there's got to be a way to reach a mark of spirituality. So let me show you. What are the results? How are the results? They're first visible. All the results of spirituality are visible. Just like carnality. If you are carnal, it's not hard to tell, is it? I mean, you can go through all the rigmaroles of fundamentalism from the past however many years, back in the early 70s. I mean, we had a mark for spirituality, didn't we? And we had a mark of liberal, liberalism, didn't we? I mean, for some preachers get it there, raw salt, right about, can't do this, can't do that, can't say this, can't say that, can't go there, can't... I mean, all of our, all of our ministries are can't, 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 can't. You can't do this, you can't do that. Everybody's got the idea, boy, if you're about this, you can't have any fun at all. Yeah. I had a lot of fun tonight. Amen. Amen. I got a blessing out of time. Amen. I'll tell my wife about it. I'll tell my church about it when I get back. Because I like my... I don't care if there's two of us. I don't care if there's 20 of us. I don't care if there's 2,000 of us. Or two or more gather together. He says, I'll be in your midst. Yeah, that's good enough for me. So we can have a good time in Christ. The results are visible. Let me show you what I mean. So if I'm going to walk in the Spirit, here's what he said. He said the fruit of the Spirit. Oh boy. Yeah. The fruit of the Spirit. And he gives us a list of stuff then. A whole list then. I mean, he just goes off and says, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, deepness, temperance. I mean, that's a good list. Those are visible results of being spiritual. Hello, man. Amen. That's a visible Amen. result. That's right. I mean, how are we going to know that you're my disciples? Somebody help me. If you have what? Love. People know you're my disciples. You have but one person. I mean, that's pretty good evidence. You know what I mean? So he gives us a list. He said the results of being spiritual are, are visible. You can't hide them. Say, boy, I'm sure, you know, I think I'll get saved and I'm not going to walk out because I don't want nobody to know it. Huh? Yeah, I got news for y'all. It ain't going to be long before everybody knows it. That's right. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, I, I, I guess it's kind of like when a lady's expecting a baby. It's not long before everybody knows it. <laughs> I don't care how much you want to hide it. That's it. I don't care what you want to put on to hide it. 
It ain't going to be hit for long. Amen. And we rejoice in it with it. But nonetheless, when you give your life to Christ, whether it be in salvation or in rededication, can I tell you tonight, there are visible results. You can't get away from it. Now, if you're not right with God, there's visible results. It's not hard to see. Everything starts changing. You know, we can go back to exactly what we were before we were saved. Did you know that we can't do that? Yeah. Did y'all know? You can go right back to what you were I mean, you get out of the will of God and see what you do. Yeah. Talk yeah. to those two boys that gave their life back to Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about for His service and are now faithful to church. Ask them what they did when they got out of church. Yeah. They did everything that they had they would have done before they got. Yeah. It's just that way. Amen. This flesh by nature goes right back to what it used to be. It will return right back to the vomit. I'm telling you, that's the way we are. Yes. As a dog turns again to its vomit, so does our whole flesh go right back to the world. Yeah. It hungers for it. It desires it. That's its nature. Therefore, it's got to be brought under subjection. So there are the visible results of it. Now, then we've got to ask ourselves, then what's the benefit? Preacher, you know, I know a whole lot of people have a whole lot more fun than I have. They get to go places I never get to go, but mom and dad won't let me because I feel so obligated and out of duty, I just can't go have any fun. Isn't that a shame? It is amazing that when we get a spiritual mind, what fun really is. Uh -huh. It's completely how it changes. Oh, yeah. You know the Bible says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and He shall give thee the desires of thy heart. That's right. Amen. Say, boy, you really? That's right. You mean that means if I got if I delight myself in the Lord, that He's going to give me a new car, and He'll give me a new house, a new land, and all this stuff. That's not what He's talking about. He said, I'm going to give you the desires of your heart. I'm going to put in you those desires.